Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Nick. How are we? Good, thanks. How are you doing? Yeah, really well, thank you. Um, hello, everybody. Um, um, so today, we, as part of our Partner Power series, uh, I'm chatting, chatting with Nick Holroyd from Orderby, Omnify, Orderby, Omnify, which? Orderby, Omnify? Orderby. Orderby. Um, uh, about the power of our partnership and how Orderby works with Airship. Um, um, well, that's it. How does Orderby work with Airship? Um, it's all about... Uh, partner power and this campaign that we've been running for the last few weeks is just really like a quick dive into how different platforms work together and what the benefit is for customers. Um, I'm definitely Marty McFly on this, just so you know, uh, just so we're clear on that. Um, Nick, I'm just going to hand it straight over to you and let you jump in and let pe tell people about Audibly. Well, thanks, Dan, and thanks for inviting me on to be part of this series. So I'm Nick from Omnify Audibly. Omnify. Um, uh, I work for Omnify. We are a agency with a digital product called Orderby, which is all about at table ordering for the hospitality sector. We work with about 38, 39 current count operators of all shapes and sizes. Our technology is live in just over 2000 sites. On average, we see about 10 million pounds worth of revenue go through the platform every single week. Pounds in pockets, uh, which are these kind of days and times is really important. We're, we're a team that gets sort of infused by the capabilities of technology. We're very lucky to do our ideal job for most part of the, of the day and the week. And that is building out order B to be the best audit table solution on the market. We're, we're web based, so there's no apps to download. You can get in and out of the experience in about 68 seconds, I think, is the average for that, which I can spin both ways. It's really quick, it's really easy, it's really straightforward, is a good side. The bad side is that no one's really looking at your menu, so make sure you put your highest GP items right at the top. In terms of ordering modes, we do the traditional order and pay all in one go. Click and collect for those operators that want to take loud takeaway from their sites and pay only. So normal operation up to the point of wanting to pay your bill, rather than having to flag down a server, you can go on to order B, split bill with friends that you're around. So I'll pay a pound, Dan will pay nine pounds, and then go away from there um, and, and get up and walk away. I guess we, we used to talk a lot about data and not knowing what to do with it. And this is where our partners in the CRM space really come in to their own. We, we, we collect thousands and thousands of pieces of data a, a day. Uh, and we now have real time live integrations with the likes of Airship to push that data straight into. And the real kind of sweet spot that we're now starting to look at is how we can pull that data back from the CRMs into our experience. Incredible. Two-way data sync, I love it. And 10 million quid, I just did some scribbles on my pad in front of me, is uh, at 20 pound uh, a transaction is half a million transactions a week, um, yep. which potentially could be half a million pieces of new data a week uh, for operators as well. Uh, uh, absolutely, yeah. And the, kind of the, the, the ways of going with data is starting to look and influence what the guest can see on their menu. We often talk about digital being the un unseen hand. Think about in the olden days where you had a butcher and then you're on first name terms and they knew that you wanted a steak, but they also knew that you tried a bit of pork recently, didn't quite get on with it, so they're going to give you another piece now. But there's no reason why we can't do that digitally with, with upsells. Yeah. We do have an upsell feature in the product. It's a, um, how can I put it politely, a blunt tool. You'll get given the upsell for the onion rings, whether you want them or not. Yeah. I'd love to start to talk about data and how that can influence based on what I've got on, in my basket compared yeah. to what I haven't or have tried previously. And, and I think that two-way sync of data that you're talking about there where the CRM is pulling back or pushing back into that product, whether it be order B, whether it be a booking product or a Wi-Fi product or a feedback product, uh, or platform uh yeah it's it's that's where the value is where it really really comes alive um, yeah. yeah from that customer experience absolutely i mean we, we talk well sorry we used to talk a lot about siloed tools and legacy tools that you can't talk to but but these days everything's out there with an api that we can get our hands on or or, or you dan can get your, your hands on and yeah. there's no reason why we, we shouldn't be, be um, talking to each other the, one of the main reasons i love hospitality is that the peer group in terms of technology are also open to, to working with each other to get the best of our operators. Yeah, amazing, amazing. Um, and so from our side, um, uh, Order B, 
um, is one of about 14 different data touch points uh, that we collect transactional information from customers to help our clients understand recency and frequency of visit. Um, the best way of uh, showing you this is simply uh, showing you this, this little uh, chart here, uh, which is basically this table here is showing the number of visits from a customer in the first column. Uh, so those that visited once through to those that visited 10 times or more in a period, um, the unique number of customers that includes um, the number of visits that those customers made. And really what we're saying here is that um, one, two, three, four, five uh, visits there um, are, you know, those are the ones that you can affect and those are the ones that you want to get the customer to visit more than once and then more than twice and then more than three times. And these ones here down at the 10 plus here, these are your super customers. Um, so 610 of these guys visited basically 14,000 times in this period for this live customer and made up 33% of their traffic into their locations. Um, so those, those guys, you really just want to understand who they are um, so that you can make sure you know when they're dropping off the bottom uh, and re-engage with them. But really about profiling who they are, understanding who they are, uh, what drives them, and then how you can affect those numbers above uh, to visit more frequently. Um, so we call all of this POP. It sits on our platform and everybody has access to it. And then once you've got your POP segment set up, uh, basically you can automate customer journeys uh, you can target uh, campaigns, these different segments of people, uh, but the automation then hopefully will drive them through from prospect, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and then capture uh, and re-engage with a lapsed customer. And the order B data that's coming through um, uh, alongside wireless social and the Wi-Fi data, alongside Collins and Res Diary and Live Res and the booking platforms, alongside the loyalty platforms like Como and Pepper and Zonal Loyalty, uh, alongside the feedback platforms, Yumpingo, Feedback, Reputation.com, that builds all of that wealth of data uh, up and screws down on the single customer uh, view and gives you this opportunity to deliver uh, data-driven loyalty. Uh, and that's POP. Um, together, we are very much hospitality focused. As uh, Nick mentioned, his 38, 39 locations, uh, brands across around 2,000 locations. Airship are about 150 brands across a couple of thousand locations as well, I think. Um, and we share some clients and um, we share these clients across Toggle as well, uh, because Order B integrates with Toggle to some degree on some EPOS platforms. <laughs> um, and uh, and that's it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Um, so we also uh, like all of our integrations we have in our academy. Uh, we have all the articles to help people get set up. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, so we work together with Nick. Um, at order B, uh, we don't charge the customers for that connection. There's no setup fees, there's no ongoing fees. It's your data, it's just about making use of it. And I think that is about it. Nick, any final words? Not at all. Thank you very much for having me. Great. Thanks. Uh, thanks for coming on. Cheers. Bye. Bye bye.